Hi guys, today we'll be showing you the side-by-side -side comparisons between three most popular optimizer apps for your Mac. These apps include Clean My Mac 3, Mac Booster 5, and Dr. Cleaner Pro. These three apps are considered to be the best apps to date. Each of them provides very useful features for Mac users to be able to clean, optimize, and boost the performances of their Macs more effectively. These comparisons are based on their real-time performances, and if we compare between the three of them based on their look, their features and functionalities, their conveniences when using, and their prices to purchase each of them. So without further ado, let's get started. The first side-by-side -side comparison is the look of each app. Let's take a look at Dr. Cleaner Pro. As you can see, the design of this app is very neat and simple, but very attractive to use. And it works very smoothly. The transitions of each clicks on each sub-menu is very smooth and convenient and fast. Let's take a look at Mac Booster 5. This is the look of Mac Booster 5. The design is simple as well. It's not as attractive as Dr. Cleaner Pro, but it's simple and it's not complicated to look at for those who like something simple. You may also prefer this style as well. And the transitions between each click on the sub menu is also fast, but it's not as attractive and smooth as it is on the Dr. Cleaner Pro. And let's take a look at the last one Clean My Mac 3. This is the look of it. Here, yeah, the way the transitions work. And look at the icon, look at the color combination. This is also beautiful and attractive. To me, I like the look of Dr. Cleaner Pro the most. But again, it totally depends on you and your preferences. So I would say this first round, the three apps end in a draw, in my opinion. The second side-by-side -side comparison is on the features and functionalities. Again, let's take a look at Dr. Cleaner Pro first. So let's take a look at the features that this app provides. So they have junk files cleaner. They have big size cleaner, you can scan and clean. They have duplicate files cleaner. They have app management, which means you can scan for the app and you can uninstall the app. In fact, it's for app uninstallation. And more tools here. For more tools, it's just the link to download its other apps from the site. So which means it only provides four main features here. Let's take a look at the other two apps first before we test each feature. So let's take a look at Mac Booster 5. So at the top, you can see they have system status. This one you can scan for security risks. You can scan for storage to delete the file to gain more storage. And you can see you can scan to boost your Mac performance. And then the next one is virus and malware scan. So I think this is the most interesting feature of all the three apps. Only this app has the feature to scan for viruses and malwares, which is really cool. And also you can see here virus database version. As long as you connect it to the internet, it always downloaded the latest update of the virus protection software for you so that it always catches unknown virus to your Mac. The next one is privacy clean. As you can see here, it can clean your privacy settings from your browsers like Safari or Chrome and also from recent list from apps traces as well. And then they have system junk and it basically scan the whole system to find junk files. Dr. Cleaner Pro, they also have junk file cleaner. And this one also have the same feature here, but they just call system junk. They will scan the whole system and find the junks and allow you to delete those junks. And next one is uninstaller. And it basically is like app manager here in Dr. Cleaner Pro, but this one just say exactly uninstaller. So it allows you to uninstall any apps on your Mac and you can see here we click here you can click to delete everything in there which means it will delete not just only the app but also its associated files and then the next one is large files cleaner it's just the same here for Dr. Cleaner Pro they just say big files Does it mean the same like this one is just named different thing is a large files cleaner it basically scans for the files that are too big on your Mac so that you can decide to delete or keep it and then next one 
they also have memory clean so they can clean your memory as well your RAM and then they also have startup optimization this is another very interesting feature to me I think I really like this feature here because you can optimize what application should be run at the startup because just like in Windows when you install a lot of apps some apps requires you to have each process or service run at startup and that would cause your Mac or your computer to run slower at the beginning so the more you have processes running or services running at the startup the slower your Mac would boot so when it boot before it reaches the home screen it would have to run all of these services first so it may make your Mac run slower but with this Mac booster 5 you can decide which one is useful for you which one is not if the one is not useful you can just disable it so that it won't run at the startup and again only Mac booster 5 provide this feature the other two doesn't have I will show you the clean my Mac 3 soon but again it won't have this feature and the next one is defragment so for defragment here it is for boosting the performance of your Mac and then they have duplicates finders just like on Delta Cleaner Pro they just say duplicates files they find the duplicate files and help you delete those files same thing here you can use Mac booster file to find duplicate files as well and another feature is photo sweepers so for this one it's effectively and quickly find similar duplicated photos and only keep the most beautiful ones next for the clean my mac 3 as you can see here at the top they have smart cleanup this is basically is the all-in-one feature when you click scan here it will just scan all of these together at the same time so this feature is really cool but you can also just clean each feature individually like system junks you can click on it and click scan here by yourself photo junk mail attachments itunes junk trash bins and large and old files so if you compare these three apps here, the system chunks, all of these have the same. The first one, the Doctor Cleaner Pro also have junk files clean up and Mac Booster also have system junks and Clean My Mac 3 also have it. But these two do not have photo junks. Only Clean My Mac 3 has photo junks. So basically what it does for photo junks is as you can see here, it is a reduce the size of your photo library by removing supporting data from it. And they also have mail attachments removal. They remove local copies of email downloads and attachments like usually when you check your email and then you downloaded the attachments from that email so it would remove that copy from your computer to save the space here this is another cool feature of clean my Mac 3 the other two cannot clean the trash only clean my Mac 3 can clean the trash when you click here you scan and then you, you click clean it will remove all the deleted files in the trash permanently just like when you right click on the trash and click the word empty trash but with clean my Mac Three, it just do that for you from the app here and then they have uninstaller just like the other two apps and then they have maintenance so what this does is it allows you to run maintenance tasks on your computer to check if it works as normal or not you can see here they can verify the startup disk it can repair disk permissions and so on and then they have privacy so the privacy here is similar to this app Mac booster 5 clean my Mac 3 also have that feature but clean my Mac 3 also include the Firefox it also also support Firefox and messages as well with Mac Booster 5 it only support Safari and Chrome no Firefox supported yet and no messages but with clean my Mac 3 they support also the messages and Firefox as well and they have another feature here called extensions for this one is it allows you to remove any extensions from apps like Chrome's extensions like I have these installed extensions or plugins in fact like I have these plugins installed on my Chrome so I can just remove it from here as well I don't have to go to the app itself to remove it I just remove it from here which is really cool the last one is shredder so as its name suggests you can erase any unwanted files or folders quickly and without leaving a trace so you just select a file here and you can delete that file when you delete from here from shredder here it won't go to the trash it would be removed permanently so one time delete only if you delete through normal process when you delete an app or a file it will go to the trash and then you have to empty the trash to remove it permanently but with this shredder just select that file or that folder it will remove permanently so in this round Mac 
Booster 5 seems to provide the most features. It has virus and malware scanning and cleaning. It also has memory clean and most importantly, startup optimization. But let's see how each feature performs in real time. So I've just talked about the features that the three apps provide here. Let's talk about how each feature actually performs in real time. Let's start with the junk file of Dr. Cleaner Pro first. And you can see here, after you scan, what you can delete from it is delete the application caches, application logs, iTunes temporary files, mail caches, trash can, browser caches, uninstall application leftovers, Xcode junk. So this one actually can also delete files from the trash can. I was mistaken at first. I thought only clean my Mac 3 can clean the trash can. But this app also actually can clean the trash can as well. They ask you here, are you sure you want to permanently delete trash can? So if you click yes, it will select and you can remove it from there too. Interesting. Let's take a look at Mac Booster 5. So we click on system chunks here and clean. Let's see how fast it works. done for the mac booster 5 you don't have to do anything it will clean everything for you automatically you just click done everything's gone but with dr cleaner pro it just scan first and if you want to delete you want to clean it you have to click the word remove here and you have to decide which one you want to delete as well so it gives you choices before you delete but with mac booster it won't give you choices it just scan and delete by itself automatically and it just tell you that it saves you 388.2 megabytes you just just click done it will be complete now let's take a look at clean my mac 3 system junk click scan and it shows you as well here done you can see here what i tell you is the scan and what i included in the scanning is outdated catch files all locks extra application binaries and use language files broken app data and then you can and again it provides you with the they say smart selected so they select it automatically for you and this is what you get from after you clean the system junk 390.8 megabytes if you take a look at this only 388 so you get more from clean my mac 3 and another cool feature of this is if you click clean it will clean these for you it automatically selected those for you already but in case you want to check it out before you decide to delete it you have a choice to do that by clicking review details here here so you can see what you are about to delete this is really cool it's just like dr cleaner pro so it just scan for you first and it asks you to select what you want to delete by yourself so it's a little bit better than the dr cleaner pro because if you don't want to take a look at these you just clean here because it's automatically selected what's unnecessary or what's considered unwanted for your mac already for you you just click clean here but you can also have a chance to review the details to decide what you want to delete or not which is really cool for the mac booster 5 it won't allow you to do that it just only clean everything automatically for you you click done and it's complete this is just one feature of the three apps. Clean my mac 3 is the winner here because it provides the chance to review the details of the unwanted files first before you decide to delete it and also it provides the quicker way by automatically select it for you and you just click clean here for the other two it just only provide one not two but this one provide both and like i said with the smart clean app here for clean my mac 3 you just click there and it automatically scan all of these for you system junk photo junk mail attachments itunes junk trash bins and large and old files let's see here i scan so you start scanning from the system junk and then move to photo junk and then mail attachments and then iTunes junk and then trash bins and last but not least is large and old files. So the last one is quite long because there are a lot of files in my computer and I have to scan for the old files and the large ones. done when you hear that sounds it means it's done now you can see here if you click clean here you will get 562.1 megabytes back as you can see it's very smart it's clean all of these for you just one click it's done let's take a look at this one we want to see what it provides if you want to uninstall any applications so you say remove applications and associated files click scan 
so you see here every time you want to scan or every time you want to uninstall any apps from here when you click scan it will ask you for permission to allow it to access your applications folder first you click allow you start scanning done so you can select any apps you want to delete and click next and it provides you another option here to say confirm below the selected items will be removed so you see they ask you twice before you delete the file so that you don't accidentally delete the app that you don't want to delete this is kind of neat for the other two apps for the uninstaller you don't have to scan anything when you click on there it will show this automatically it's just right there here you click this it shows everything here for you you don't have to scan but for the dock to clean a pro you have to scan first and like i said most of the features are similar very similar only the difference here is with the Mac booster file here, it provides two features that I'm really interested in. The first one is virus and malware scan. So you just click scan here, start scanning your computer to find any threats or any virus or malware. It might take a while to scan for viruses, so I have to speed up this process. So now the scan is complete, no viruses is found, only one malware. So we just click fix here, done. Another cool feature of Mac Booster 5 is startup optimization. This is what I really like because like I said, not many optimizer app for Mac would have this feature included. Most of them would ignore this feature, but I think this feature is really awesome because it allows you to optimize or to decide which app you want to run at startup. The more app or the more services of the app run at the startup, the slower your Mac would boot up. So you can see you can decide what to run at startup. So you just click here. Like let's say I want this feature, keep with music helper.app service to disable. Tick there and, and click disable it's done you can select all you want to or add a new item you can also add an item to it if you want it to run at startup so i think this round in my mac 3 and mac booster 5 are the winners even mac booster 5 seem to be a little bit better because it provides some more cool features to the menu but again it depends on your preferences let's move on to another comparison it is the third comparison here so for the third side by side comparison is on the conveniences when using each app so based on what i show you at the moment what i find the most convenient is Dr. Cleaner Pro, it's very neat. The design is really beautiful and attractive. And even the way it's scanned, it just provides cool animation and to me, this is the most convenient to use. For Clean My Mac 3, also really convenient to use. But I still think Dr. Cleaner Pro is the winner here because it's fast and smooth. So I definitely think this is the winner. But again, it's up to you to decide which one you think is better and easier to use. But for me, this is the clear winner here. It works smoothly, very attractive. The design is beautiful as well. Let's move on to the last comparison. For the fourth side-by-side -side comparison here is on the price of each app. Let's start with the first one dr cleaner pro so if you go to app store these dr cleaner pro has the free version but still if you want to get all the features you have to buy the pro version and it costs 14.99 for this app and because it is in the app store you can use it with as many Macs as you want to. Next is Clean My Mac 3. For Clean My Mac 3, it's not available in the App Store. It's like a third party application. You have to go to the internet and it costs $39.95 for only one single license, which is quite expensive. So, like almost two times more expensive than the Dr. Cleaner Pro. And it's only one single license which means if you want to use for other Mac, you have to buy another one. And the most expensive app is this app, Mac Booster 5. It costs a total of $59.95. Just this one single app costs $59.95, it's like $60 already. But you can use it for up to three Macs. So if you compare to Clean My Mac 3, $40, but you can only use for one Mac. But this one, $60, you can use up to three Macs. So this round, the most affordable app is Dr. Cleaner Pro. However, it totally depends on you to decide which one suit your needs the most. Okay, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. These are the comparisons between three most popular optimizer apps for your Mac. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please click like, comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.